here with Terry Tucker with the Warriors of Field Legacy Foundation. We're at Wing Haven Lodge here in Providence, Kentucky. It's actually in Crittenden County. And we're gonna talk with Terry today about uh, the foundation and kind of how they became friends with uh, the Wing Haven Lodge. Uh, Warriors of Field Legacy Foundation is an organization we started about 12 years ago. Uh, of old uh, veterans like myself uh, and we uh, our mission is to uh, coach teach mentor and be with young soldiers from post 9-11 Iraq Afghanistan who have been wounded in combat and who uh, are in some cases struggling and need some help and so we 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 do that using hunting and fishing trail riding uh, as a conduit for uh, us to uh, coach and teach and mentor. And so uh, about six months ago, we had an invitation by Russell Edwards, the owner of Winghaven Lodge, to come down and, and do some hunting, hunting and fishing here. And he's been kind enough to host us and let us bring 14 soldiers uh, down here to hunt and fish for a couple of days. Uh, and uh, we're just delighted. It's been first class with uh, Russell and his team of guides and, and staff here. And uh, we had a great hunt this morning of quail and pheasant. And uh, this afternoon we're going to bass fish and shoot some clays and trap. And then tomorrow we're going to quail and pheasant hunt again t tomorrow. With old Vietnam era, Desert Storm era uh, veterans like myself, we, we take one soldier and we take that wounded soldier from Iraq, Afghanistan, who may be struggling either with physical injuries or emotional injuries. And we take them for three or four days, one-on-one -on -one hunting, fishing, trail riding. But, but that's really just a conduit for us to get to know them, see uh, what challenges they have, uh, what, uh, how they're dealing with the VA and how the VA is dealing with them. Uh, this is my first time on an event like this. It, it, it's pretty cool to be here all along the side of these wonderful men, these generals that we've revered and, and looked up to my entire career. You know, it, it's, it's awesome to be here with them and, and spend some time with them, uh, learning some things from them that could aid me in my life and my recovery with uh, my issues that I gained in the military. And I'm very thoughtful and thankful that I've had this opportunity to to share this time with fellow brothers and sisters from the military. It's an, it's an awesome time and I'm very appreciative. Uh, my name's Corey Mason. I'm from uh, Melbourne, Florida. I grew up in uh, Texas, uh, a little bit of Arkansas. So going hunting and fishing, uh, it's been kind of something I've done all my life as well. And I, right out of high school, went in, did uh, four years in the Marines. Uh, then I uh, got out, looked around a little bit and said, no, I still like the military. Went back and did 16 more years in the Army, a uh, couple deployments, a uh, couple minor injuries. Uh, one of the contacts that's friends with uh, uh, General Tucker said, hey, I just got a call from him, and he, he, he's looking for some guys in Purple Heart that may want to go out and, and uh, be with some of their buddies, some of their buddies that have gone through some of the same things you've, you've gone through, still going through. Yeah. And then me do a little hunting, do a little fishing, and just have a good time with some of the guys. And I, where do I sign up? All right, my name is Antonio Canyon. I'm out here in Providence, Kentucky, at uh, Winghaven Lodge. That's my first time out here with a group of veterans. I'm having a really good time. It's like a four day excursion. Uh, we're fishing, we're hunting, we're bonding, we're talking, I'm learning. So, uh, this is a great situation. I'm getting mentored by some really uh, legendary men. And I hope to take this stuff back with me to my community and share the information. I'm Sylvester. I'm from originally from uh, Brownsville, Texas, I guess. I grew up in Brownsville, uh, way down south on the southern tip of Texas. Went off to uh, Texas A&M University, and uh, next thing I know, I was in the Army, and then I spent 37 years. I got out of the Army almost 20 years ago, and uh, about 12 years ago, my friend Bill Hansen came to me and he said, we need to give back to these youngsters coming home from Afghanistan and Iraq. And we need to make them feel better than we felt when we came home from war 50 years ago. We call it the Legacy Foundation. 
and uh, we take these youngsters out hunting and fishing, but it ain't about hunting and fishing. It's about mentoring these kids and helping them to grow and, and uh, learn to give back themselves. And that's the legacy of our organization. And you know, I'm just glad that we were able to be a part of it. So it's a great way to finish a good season. We've had a fantastic year and, and uh, this is a perfect way to do it.